Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going to tackle the Salesforce Trailhead module, Control Access to Fields. By the end of this video, you'll understand why field level security is important, how to set up field level permissions with profiles and permission sets, and how these settings help secure sensitive data. Let's jump right in. So, why do we need field level security? Imagine your sales team needs access to account data, but shouldn't see or edit sensitive fields like social security numbers or salary details. Field level security in Salesforce allows you to protect sensitive information by controlling which users can view, edit, or delete specific fields within an object. This control is critical because it extends field restrictions throughout the app not just in page layouts, uh, but also in reports, related lists, and searches. Now, let's walk through how to view and edit field level security. Field level security can be controlled using either profiles or permission sets. Profiles are generally used to define base access levels for a group of users, while permission sets are applied to individual users to expand their access. First, navigate to Profiles or Permission Sets. From the Setup menu, type Profiles or Permission Sets into the Quick Find box. Select the profile or permission set you want to edit. For profiles, click on the profile you wish to modify, such as Standard User. Then, to edit field permissions, go to Object Settings within the Profile or Permission Set. Select the object you're working with and edit field permissions as needed. Remember, these settings allow us to restrict or grant read, edit, and delete permissions for specific fields, letting us protect sensitive data while allowing access where necessary. Let's start by restricting field access through profiles. Profiles set the baseline access level for groups of users. I'll show you how to set this up in a few steps. First, enable enhanced profile interface. So, if you haven't already, enable the enhanced profile interface. In Setup, search for User Management Settings and enable it there. Navigate to Profiles and select the profile to modify. Select the profile, such as Standard User, and go to Object Settings. Select the object and modify field permissions. Let's use the Account object as an example. Click Edit, then go to Field Permissions and select the field you want to restrict, like the Rating field. For Standard Sales Users, Uncheck Read Access and Edit Access. For sensitive fields, then save. And that's it. Now, sales team members with this profile can't see or edit the rating field on accounts. Profiles are perfect for setting general access limits, which you can then adjust with permission sets. Now, let's expand access for certain users, like senior sales members, using permission sets. Permission sets are useful for giving specific users additional access on top of what their profile provides. First, go to Permission Sets. From Setup, type Permission Sets into the Quick Find box and select it. To create a new permission set, click New and let's call this one Rating to provide access to the rating field. Label, Rating, API Name, Rating, User License, Choose Salesforce. Next, set field permissions. In the permission set, go to object settings, select account, click edit and under field permissions, enable read access and edit access for the rating field. Finally, assign the permission set to users who need this access by going to manage assignments, selecting users and clicking add assignments. Now, senior sales members will be able to view and edit the rating field while others with the standard profile remain restricted. Using permission sets, this way ensures sensitive data is only accessible to those who need it. Now that we understand the theory, let's apply it with a hands-on challenge. Here, we'll create a profile and permission set specifically for our sales team. Before we get started, make sure you have a hands-on org ready. If you haven't launched yours yet, go ahead and do that now. All right, first things first, 
we're going to clone an existing profile to create a customized one for the sales team. Navigate to Profiles. Head over to the Setup menu and type Profiles into the Quick Find box. Clone the standard user profile. Look for the standard user profile, click it, and then select Clone. For profile name, enter Sales. Save the new profile. Once you've named it, click Save to create the sales profile. Cloning profiles like this allows us to create a base set of permissions that we can fine tune without affecting other user profiles. Now, let's adjust object permissions. The next ask is to adjust object level permissions for sales profile. Our goal here is to make sure sales team members can create, edit, and view accounts and contacts, but not delete them. Access object settings. In the sales profile, scroll down to standard object permissions. Set permissions for accounts and contacts. For accounts, check read, create, and edit. Do the same for contacts. Leave the delete option unchecked for both. This setting ensures that all sales team members can work with accounts and contacts, but they can't delete them. It's a great example of applying the principle of least privilege in Salesforce. Next, let's ensure that the rating field on the accounts object is hidden for most sales team members by restricting field level access to the rating field. For field permissions, in the sales profile, scroll down to field permissions. Set permissions for the rating field. Find the rating field in the accounts object. Uncheck. Read access and edit access for this field. Perfect. Now the rating field will be hidden for our general sales team members. All right, now let's tackle our senior sales members. We'll create a permission set that allows them to see and edit the rating field. To navigate to permission sets, in setup, type permission sets into the quick find box, then create a new permission set. Click new and let's enter the details. For the label, rating, API, name, rating, user license, select Salesforce. Click save once you've filled in the details. Now, let's update the field permissions on this new permission set. To set field permissions for rating field, scroll down to field permissions in the rating permission set. Find the rating field on the accounts object and check read access and edit access. Then save the permission set. Click save again. Great. Now, any senior sales member assigned this permission set will have access to view and edit the rating field, while others won't. The final step of this hands-on is to assign this permission set to the appropriate users. To navigate to the Users section, go to Users under the Setup menu. Then, select the senior sales member or G's. You will need to select a user who needs access to the rating field. Then, assign the rating permission set to them. Go to their permission set assignments, click Edit Assignments, and select the rating permission set. Then, click Save. And that's it. We've successfully created a profile and permission set to manage object level and field level permissions for our sales team members. So, there you have it. We've covered the importance of field level security, set up field permissions with profiles and permission sets, and completed a practical hands-on challenge. By understanding and configuring field level security, you're building a secure data access model that keeps sensitive information safe. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Salesforce tips and tutorials. For more hands-on examples, check out our Salesforce security playlist. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.